But we had such a nice time last night. How much fun was it? Yeah, it was really good. And I've lost my voice as usual. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, we went to Archer Street Bar. It was very, very fun. So now we are in Grosvenor House Hotel, which is so nice. We're going to have an afternoon tea and it's nutcracker themed as well. Most people are having champagne. <laughs> We're having water. Chin, chin. <laughs> A little bit of blood orange and some lemongrass. Amazing. And then on top, a little bit of candy mm, Thank you. Thank you. Just something light and refreshing. Thank you so much. Shut, shut. She be raised up. Your candy plus is going to get stuck to mine. How beautiful is all this crockery? All matching. Very excited for my first tea of the day. Oh no, actually, you did make me a tea. Second tea of the day. <laughs> a little right, nutcracker on top. Well, Thank you. So for our selection of finger sandwiches, choices here we have the honey roast ham and English mustard, followed by the North Atlantic prawns with Marie Rose sauce, Aberdeen Angus beef and some creamed horseradish, mint butter with cucumber. And lastly, the smoked chicken tarragon and creme fraiche. Thank you. Okay. In the centre is plain scones and some fruit raisin scones. And lastly, for the cakes and pastries, the favourite bits really. <laughs> we have, they're all based around the Nutcracker Ballet itself. Yeah. So they all have different character names. So we have our sugar plum fairy, Aww. which is a little bit of the plum cheesecake and raspberry gel. Followed by our Danish shepherdess, which is almond sponge, mandarin orange, topped up with some red currants. We have the angels, which is William Pear Cream in white chocolate. Followed by the Spanish and the Arabian, which is a honey chocolate mousse. And lastly, the nutcracker itself, which is a bit of hazelnut and Devonshire cream. All takeaway bags. We're going to be good people and go and find some homeless people to give this to for Christmas. taxi man and he said no he what did said he? no what did he say he said no thanks <laughs> yeah How does he know do they don't remember our afternoon tea i said to give them to kids and i was like no <laughs> because i just thought like i didn't want to be weird and then that was weird <laughs> you made that weird time to win to wonderland laura's first time this year it's you i need to actually persuade <laughs> hi <laughs> say hi to you <laughs> Laura took the nutcracker from the afternoon tea and named it the stew. So we went through the family entrance and we actually blagged them, like blagged them to like let us in with cakes. But we actually did have a small child, so that's why we got through. Say hi to stew everyone. <laughs> hi stew. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just parked my car to go to the station. Uh, last night was so much fun. However, I lost my bank card. I'm an absolute idiot. So I spent the rest of my night calling the bank to cancel my card. Great one, Daisy. Sorry, just bringing you around to the night again. If you look around here, it's just starting to recap. It's officially finished for Christmas. I mean, for like four or five days, but still. I don't think I've ever been so hungry in my life. The Jenna thing is looking all beautiful. I'm so happy that we've been able to catch up. Um, we have come to the Saba, which is like kind of our tradition now because we like to come to the Saba at Christmas. It's the best calamari you will ever taste in a whole entire life. It's unreal. <laughs> I've been 
shopping for a while now and I haven't bought a thing. Oh, she's not been really <laughs> very uh, productive at all. But we're prioritising and heading for a drink first. We're going to the bar. <laughs> Wait, so they're all Kit, Kit Kats? Yeah. Can you make your own awesome. Kit Kat? How cool is this? God, it looks so cute. How amazing. Do you feel Christmassy now? <laughs> the, the cutest. Look at my packaging. I'm like the worst friend ever. I haven't even wrapped Jenna's because I didn't have time. And look at this. You are putting me to shame. This looks so beautiful. Aww. You're so cute. God, I want to cry. <laughs> look at what Jenna has got me. And the, this is the bougiest thing I own. Like, I <gasps> dropped it. <laughs> we, we can't miss this. I now own Gucci tights. What? I'm not this cool. Yes, <laughs> you so are. so much. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Do you like them? Absolutely. <laughs> this is like our favourite thing ever from yeah, Little Moon. They have like a pop-up yeah, okay. in Bond Street Station and they have all different flavours of mochi. Yeah. What do you say mochi or mochi? Uh, mochi. No, like mo mochi. mochi. I mean, you do sound a bit exotic. <laughs> Could I have one coconut and one hazelnut, please? Yes. You are so <laughs> <laughs> Why are we weird? Really no, the How hazelnut one's in there. How do you pronounce it? Which one? Mochi. 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 Yes, it's, it's, it's actually quite crazy because it's Japanese, so it's a little bit different pronunciation. Mochi. Very <laughs> Japanese. Thank you. Can I get two? for baby clothes. Oh, I can't even deal. Look at this from Primark. A little cute knitted hat. And the baby grow. So nice. All the buttons do up at the bottom. Oh my god. Look at these. The little tailored checked trousers and a navy polo i think this is the cutest thing ever i would have never thought to go into primark for baby's clothes but actually these are so cute i think this looks so expensive like it could be like white company or something like it's really good material I spent uh, a long night wrapping but i feel like i've done quite a lot um but there's still loads of presents at my nan's that i need to pack i'm kind of just swanning around in this pretty little thing dress which i obviously love shut with the blinds because i just had a little photo shoot this is what it's like living on my own now i have to set up my ring light my tripod and i've had to try and take pictures of myself i mean i'm not sure how they're going to turn out but i had to close all the blinds so that i had a good light Oh, my tree. I just love it. I'm so happy with it this year. And although there looks like there is a lot of needles on the floor right now, that's only because I've been leaning against this, taking photos. That actually hasn't molted a lot, which is great. Um, so I've just used this Sainsbury's wrapping paper, which was on like three for two. So I've got all rose gold wrapping paper. So I'm going to load my car now uh, of all these presents and kind of maybe separate them into boxes of what I'm taking to my mum's, what I'm taking to my brothers, what I'm taking to the kids so I can just grab each box for each house. <laughs> I mean I'm freezing I definitely need to get ch changed in a minute but oh my god my presents from Jenna last night she's so cute so obviously she got me my Gucci tights which are just insane I'm very excited but also scared to wear them because like I think I'd cry if I got a hole in them. So if anyone's got any tips on how to look after tights, please let me know. Also got me the most gorgeous Dior catwalk coffee table book. Basically, Jenna knows I am getting a new coffee table. So she thought this book would be perfect as it's grey and there's beautiful Dior pictures in it. So it'd be really nice for my coffee table. But she also got it for me to celebrate the fact that I work with Dior this year, which is so, so nice. I'm going to treasure this book. It's going to look perfect with my De Beers one. How perfect is that? So yeah, I just need my new coffee table and this is going to look amazing. I feel like I feel a little bit emotional that it's the end of Vlogmas. I feel like it's gone so incredibly quickly. I feel like I've been so, so bad at keeping up with comments and I am really, really sorry for that. I promise I'll be getting back to all of you, but I appreciate every single one of you that has watched a video, that has commented on a video, that has liked a video. Like, honestly, I can't tell you enough because 
it has been a struggle. I have been out a lot. I've had a lot of work going on. I've had a lot of events and socializing. Um, so yeah, to keep up with it and to upload a video every day, like I've been editing videos before I'm going on a night out. I've been late for so many things. It's Christmas Eve now, I'm still vlogging. I need to edit this video now, which is gonna make it quite late. And I still need to go um, to a supermarket to get some Christmas cards and to get little stocking filler type presents. I need to go and see my friend Caroline, Debbie, my nan, and then go to my cousins. I also need to pack my suitcase because I'm not coming back home for three days now. So there's a lot to do, uh, but thank you so much for watching my videos. Like it really does mean everything. And I'm so glad that I've been able to do Vlogmas again. It's so hard work, but hopefully it's worth it. And I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed me uploading a video every single day in December. Go me! I hope you have the most perfect day tomorrow ever, ever, ever with all of the people that you love the most. Sending you all so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me this year and making it an amazing year filled with so many amazing memories. I'm very excited for next year, but this isn't gonna be the end of Vlogmas. I mean, I am definitely gonna vlog tomorrow on Christmas day. I'm just not sure when that video will be up. Sometime between Christmas and New Year. Keep up to date with my Instagram because obviously I'll be posting everything on there of what I get up to. I love you all so much. Have the best day tomorrow. Bye.